What is going on, YouTube? I'm Josh Nader711. Back with another NBA 2K14 My Gem video featuring the Charlotte Hornets. So here we are in the NBA draft, and we do have a lottery pick. We have the seventh pick in the draft. And so as most of you guys know, I traded Big Al, Al Jefferson, for Serge Ibaka. So we are in desperate need of a center, and that's exactly who I'm going to draft. And as I look down the list a little bit, I see Joel Embiid. So with the seventh pick in the 2014 NBA draft, I'm going to go ahead and draft Joel Embiid. I scouted the heck out of him just so I can draft him. And Joel Embiid, welcome to the Charlotte Hornets. So heading into the offseason, there are a ton of players available and we have a ton of cap space available as well. So as far as realism goes, LeBron James signing with the Charlotte Hornets is actually sort of realistic if you think about it. As you see right here, we have exactly what LeBron wants in his contracts. We are going to offer him the max deal. But think about it. Michael Jordan is the owner of the Charlotte Bobcats. And LeBron James has always looked up to Michael Jordan as a leader and as a, as a model. So LeBron James coming to Charlotte to play for Michael Jordan, to play with Kemba Walker, to play with Serge Ibaka. I can see it happening in real life. I wouldn't be too surprised if Michael Jordan was able to recruit LeBron James and bring him to Charlotte to play for the Hornets. So LeBron is asking for a four-year deal worth $88.57 million. And honestly, I think that's the deal that I'm willing to take. He would be making about over two over $20 million, $22 million a year. But to sign the best basketball player on this earth currently, I mean, you can't go wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and offer him that $88.57 million contract. I will give him that four-year deal. Hopefully, we can keep him for all four years and even longer. So, uh, hopefully, LeBron James is going to accept the deal. Come down to Charlotte, play for Michael Jordan, and play for the beautiful city of Charlotte. So, anyways, we are just going to offer him that four-year deal. We're not going to give him any option. Just a normal contract, four-year. Going to be a star player, obviously. $88.57 million, exactly what he wants. And so... Hopefully, he's going to sign with the Charlotte Hornets. So, we are going to advance through one day. Nothing. Advance to the second day. And he still has that one off from the Charlotte Hornets. And nothing. So, I'm getting a little worried right now. Is LeBron going to sign with the Hornets? He still only has one offer. Advance to the third day. And there it is. LeBron James is playing for the Charlotte Hornets for the next four years, making $88 million. He's going to join Kemba Walker. Serge Ibaka, Gerald Henderson, Joel Embiid, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. So after the big signing of LeBron James, I am looking at another strong player to add some depth to this team. Possibly a veteran, possibly a player who can play big minutes down the stretch, has the experience, and a player who's really going to help this team. So you see Carmelo Anthony still on the board, Darren Collison, Danny Granger, Andrew Bynum. But I'm looking for an older player, a player with a lower overall who's willing to play for this team for cheap. And that player is Richard Hamilton, Rip Hamilton. So he's asking for a one-year $1.69 million. And, you know, that that's a reasonable offer for a player of Richard Hamilton's expertise of the experience he has in the NBA and uh, the qualities he'll bring to this team. So Richard Hamilton will make a good fit for this team playing backup shooting guard to Gerald Henderson or maybe even a backup small forward to LeBron James. And I'm also looking at Michael Beasley, but he's asking for way too much, way out of my range. I'm just going to have to walk away on that deal. So I'm looking for an acceptance by Richard Hamilton yet to accept. And there it is. On day five, he's going to accept. So let's take a quick look at my roster. We got Kemba Walker, Gerald Henderson, LeBron James, Ibaka, and Embiid in the starting lineup. With Shabazz Napier, who we drafted in later on in the first, or in the second round, excuse me. We also have Rip, Rich Hamilton and Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Those are a few of the many players we have on this team. But look at the scoring options for us. We got LeBron, who's obviously going to be our first main scoring option. As well as Kemba Walker and Gerald Henderson. Henderson's definitely going to have to step up with this for this team. But with the addition of LeBron James, we are going to be an unstoppable force. 